Hello, today we're going to have a quick lesson in how to isolate a subject. I'm just going to use my uh, cup here that I use for water every day. I'm going to come over here, I'm going to select the freehand selection. First thing I'm going to do is isolate this from the background. And I'm going to use Smart Edge Selection Tool with the, last, with the freehand lasso. And what this will do is allow me to go around and take just the edge, I'm zooming in, take just the edge of this cup and it'll automatically find the edge for me. I don't have to be perfect on where I find the edge here. I'm going to come down here, select this across. I'm going to come across first and do this side because the scroll doesn't work real fast. This is just a quick and dirty method of doing it. I'm going to change the mode here to add so that I can scroll up a little bit. And then just click and add in the straw. See, it is added to the selection there. Now I'm going to scroll down. And do the same here at the, bottom of the, at the bottom of the cup. I'm going to add this bottom half of the cup to it. Same way we did it before. We're just getting the edge of the cup inside my selection, the selection box here. Each time, just making short strokes or short grabs here. And now we're inside. So now just the cup is selected. I'm going to come over here. I'm going to, oops, sorry, wrong spot. Hang on. When I come over here. I'm going to take this mask right here. I'm going to say new mask. It's a new mask layer. I'm going to create to show only the selection, which will knock everything else out. Now I have just the cup. Now, I can, if I wanted to duplicate this, I can do it in a number of ways. I can go ahead and just duplicate this group over and over again. But first, I'm going to take right-click here again, merge. We're going to merge this group so it's all together. So it's just the cup now. And now if I take the pick tool here, I can pick it up and move it around however I want to. And I could come over here, and I could say duplicate, and duplicate, and duplicate. And I can take that cup now and drag it around and I have multiple copies of it on my desktop or in my, in my file. Let's take this one to the back, drag it down here so it looks like it's behind all the others and so on. So pretty simple. I think that should answer your question. 